Hey guys, good Saturday morning to you. This is Rusty78609. It's March 3rd, 2018, and it's pretty nice here this morning. Hey Google, good morning. <clears throat> Hi Rusty, it is 6.56 a.m. Right now in 78611 it's 50 and mostly cloudy. Today it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 70 and a low of 61. Have a wonderful day. You too, dude female, male, whatever you are. Anyway, uh, so far this is day six, I think, on the total off-gridding and just like home, folks, so far. I mean, batteries are okay, water's okay, I'm okay. I've been showering and doing my everything every day. Right now, inside it is uh, 64 degrees, which is, very, this is my, <laughs> this is my indoor temperature gauge. I got it at Walmart for a couple of bucks. But anyway, <clears throat> it does what it want, I want it to do. It also will measure the temperature and anything else. I put it in the Dometic freezer. The, the, the Dometic refrigerator is about, oh, it ranges between 34 and 40. <clears throat> so that's perfect, I think. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Alamogordo, New Mexico? The temperature in Alamogordo right now is 42. Getting closer, getting closer. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 36. You guys, that's a heat wave. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we did that. Anyway. Knock on wood, folks, so far the dry camping boondocking style of living is, uh, I think we make too much of it, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, uh, you know, it's it's really pretty simple, actually. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, all I have is a little Zamp suitcase solar thing and a 120 amp hour battery and a 300 watt inverter, and I'm living like I live in a sticks and bricks home, you know, and... Uh, you know, of course, it's different strokes for different folks. I, I understand that. You know, everybody's going to do what they want to do. But, uh, you know, I, I'm just amazed at how little uh, you can live on. And In fact, I've lived on less than this. I mean, when I was camping in my Toyota Prius off and on for five years, <clears throat> I didn't have anything. I had that little toilet I made up out of a three-gallon can. That was, But that's amazing. I'm, I can't believe I did that. But anyway, this is on boondocking. This is Pat. He says, Rusty, you nailed, you nailed what you said about sailor, own, sailor, solar owning you. Always worrying about the state of your batteries, always repositioning the panels, dreading cloudy days, <clears throat> too much hassle. I think a small inverter generator is much better, very quiet and runs a long time on a gallon of gas. Just turn it on and run just about anything you want and it charges your battery <clears throat> well i'm not going to get a generator that's out thank you for your comment pat appreciate it no i had a generator one time and i know what's involved you got to you got to maintain it you know and besides that you got to carry gasoline i don't want to be carrying five gallons of gasoline in the back of my truck and it smells like gasoline no no no, no. I, I don't want to hear the noisy thing no for me for me for me solar is the only way to go why because i like it it's quiet, it's efficient, it works, and all you need is a little sunlight every now and then, and you're good to go. I've got enough in my battery right now to go for three or four days in, in, in both batteries. I could go three or four days without charging the batteries all. <clears throat> so anyway, solar power, this is Avlisk. He says, this video is pretty interesting for someone who's shopping for a used RV. He's got a link to a... a to a used RV. It says in this case of road trek, the rangers might be interested. He's got a link to a used, apparently, road trek, and it's on the solar power video I did yesterday. Avlisk, A V L I S K. This is Faye Calder on solar power. Thank you so much for sharing. Safe tra travels, Faye. Thank you, Faye. Brenda Coetta. I'm taking notes still. The last video comments on the watts versus amps really uh, <clears throat> info really helped 
on the solar the battery helps too thanks really for me I found that if I just focus on watts if I know what how many watts I'm using in a day and then I can guesstimate on the low side what my solar panels are going to put out in watts and then I know what I'm doing okay it, and it's working I mean it works for me and let me tell you this guys you can study something to death you can do to death you can you, you can analyze it and do all the calculations and you know just do every single thing and it's still not work so all you want it to do is work <clears throat> right now mine is so anyway <clears throat> This is uh, Mike Fre or Mark Freeman. Can you post a link to the battery box you have the AGM? Well, the battery box, I'm sure you can get those anywhere. I, I don't know. I, 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 it all came in a package. I don't have a link or anything to it. And the AGM batteries, you just pick the kind you want. Just be sure it's a deep cycle AGM and preferably a setup, you know, designed for solar or wind. <clears throat> Dr. Dan, Solar Power, I've got a similar setup that I pieced together that I've used for years for deer hunting and TV during hurricane power outages. It's been a valuable piece of equipment when needed. I didn't realize that the pure sine wave inverter was more efficient until, I, until recently, so I guess I'm going to upgrade my inverter now. I, I didn't know it was more efficient either. either. The only reason I got the pure sine wave as I read that it was it gave a better <clears throat> uh, voltage or whatever to the uh, computers and stuff and wouldn't damage them that's the only reason I got it uh, what else <clears throat> this is Paul Harrington hi Rusty nice setup you are doing it I know it might be simple stuff to you <laughs> but you are very inspiring thanks I need to get busy living too well you realize Paul this is already March the 3rd so if it's something you want to do you better be doing it because time ain't waiting on anybody boondocking Roger St. Martin Rusty 78609 when it comes to solar less is more uh, well yeah less appliances for sure now as far as the solar power you know get whatever you can afford you won't regret that Cajun Jameis, solar power. He says the Fukushima of South Central Texas, USA. <laughs> oh, keep taking your medication, Jameis. <clears throat> David Vio, Vio, is that right? On the tiny home, he says then you still have to buy land, pay to have utilities run to it, pay to have da 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 da. Says there's there are houses all over the place for under 40k. They're not in my area. They aren't in any great areas, but they exist. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can find you a home, I'm sure, for $40,000. You may not want to live in it, but that's your choice. David, go for it. David, again, washer and dryer, fridge. He, he wants, he's got a question mark by him. He wants to know why they're not there. <clears throat> well, the fridge uh, it would be added, but the washer and dryer, that's up to you. That was on the tiny home. <clears throat> Solar power, J-Wall 10. This RV... This RV has a shutoff switch on the factory inverter to stop parasitic loss. Still have the two 110 volt outlets in the RV but have never used them. One in bathroom, one at kitchen counter. Two TVs came with RV, both are 12 volt. Wife wants to leave them for now, may watch movies since it came with a 12 volt VHS player and a 126 tapes lol <clears throat> I have never watched a movie we have never had a TV had a TV the 45 years come November that we have been married we run everything 12 volt in the RV even charging the Chromebook anyway he goes on to explain what kind of system he's got and uh, but anyway that's J wall 10 on solar power Roger Martin uh, solar power says what happened to grandma Patty and Dave I don't know whatever happened to them happened to them <clears throat> Pat solar power hey Rusty this is what happens when you are retired and having nothing to do but watch YouTube postings for a few years of nomadics living in their vehicles and think it would be a great life then change your mind and think it would be just 
as fun to use things for camping. He's got a link to a YouTube video. Thank you, Pat. This is Frank Shattuck. Uh, yeah, I was camping uh, in the Malpais. That's That means badlands in Spanish. Thank you, Frank. <clears throat> Uh, this is on boondocking Brian Melton. I realize that you need to need content to make videos, but I can run the numbers as well as anyone. The answer is do not invest in the solar panels, batteries, meters, gadgets that go with it, but most of all the extra work it adds and just pay the extra five or ten bucks and plug the RV in kick back, drink a cool one, and live like a king. Oh yeah, and if it gets warm, turn on the AC, like your videos, keep up the good work. Thanks. Brian, if that's what you want to do, man, do it. Yeah. <clears throat> you no, know, everybody's got a different way to do things. I know that, and, and I, I respect that. If you want to use a, gener a gasoline generator, fine. If you want to use a propane generator, fine. If you want to uh, pull, pull into an RV park or somewhere, fine. I do things my way, everybody else does things their way, okay? 2018 Sunray, this is Tinker Trek. Nice, but for ten, not for $10,000. The markup on campers is insane. Yeah, it must be because, you know, that, uh, well, I don't know. <clears throat> the little Sunray is cute, but yeah, 10000 is a stout price. Uh, Madison Pruitt, solar power. I did a bunch of Prius camping last year. I have a Dometic CF-18 that I used when camping in the Prius. You are right about the back, about, you are right on about them barely sipping power. Yeah, th that thing doesn't use a half amp an hour, I guarantee you. <clears throat> John Bruce, solar power. Inverters are very efficient, around 90% efficient. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad to hear that because I've been estimating 80. John Revell, uh, solar power, just the idea, get a 12-volt car plug with a USB and a radio more than one amp for the Roku and no need for the, well, the, the uh, Roku uses an HDMI plug. <clears throat> It doesn't use a USB. It uses HDMI. Yeah, yeah. You, I could get one of those if I wanted to. Yeah, that's a good idea, John. Thank you. Yachting capital, solar power, excellent setup with lots of flexibility and efficient efficiency. Happy trails, Rusty. Yeah, it, it's pretty smooth right now, guys. I'm not complaining. I mean, it's pretty sim It's simple, and I love that. Uh, but it, and it's working. That's and that's another thing I like. Uh, this is uh, Leroy Romero. Uh, he's got a lot of LOLs, and then uh, Leroy Romero says, what? That's good. Very good. Thank you, Leroy. Brilliant comments. <clears throat> Boondocking, Sarah J. She's got a long comment. I'll read a couple of sentences. The whole thing totally helps all of us. Going to listen to the series, yes. I don't know if this is a series. I'll keep you updated on how it's going. Less is more, and I know some have to have hair dryer, curling iron, you name it. I can understand some couples like on the lifetime kind of date and look nice mode who have middle of the road class C's all fancied up. But yeah, it's different strokes for different folks all the way down, guys. <clears throat> this is Mike Butterfield on the, he says, on the solar power, it says pretty much the same as a flux capacitor, whatever that is. Rusty, if you can get your rug going 88 miles per hour directly into a lightning storm. Well, I guess that would certainly generate some power, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> this is John Torres on tire balancing. I did one about discount tire a long time ago. He says, all day, bay three. Seriously, though, the best job in the world. He likes it. Good. <clears throat> that might have been him I did. Anyway, this is Scotty Thompson. He's got one, two, three, four, five. I'll just go down them. Scotty Thompson says, cool comment call. I cannot believe it's March 2018 already, Rusty. Hey, <laughs> you're telling me. Uh, cool boondocking off-grid fifth day update talk, Rusty. Thank you. Cool solar power your battery setup talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Cool driving Central Texas and not much else talk, Rusty, and driving your truck. Thank you very much, Scotty Thompson. Hope it's warming up where you are. Got three more. <clears throat> 
This is Dill Rogers on gun laws. Uh, I love Texas gun laws. I'm from the Midwest. I just bought my first rifle this week. I picked up an AR-15, a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport 2. If that's what you want, Dill, you should have got five of them. No, I, that's great. I mean, I, you know, the only problem I have with, with my weapons is I never use them. I haven't fired uh, either, either one of the weapons I have uh, other than when I first got them just to see if they work. I have I've, I've never fired them since. Okay, and I've had them for years. I mean, a lot of years. <clears throat> this is Sherry from Texas on solar power. The greatest thing since fried chicken. I haven't heard that one before. Well, you haven't. I've heard it long. That's an old old one. Uh, Dreaming Angels Reborn left me a thumbs up and a peace sign or whatever that is. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, on what's going to be a nice day, I'll be able to do my walking and stuff right here. I like that, and I and and I, I'll I'll keep you informed on the solar. I'll do a video today, kind of letting you know what my battery levels are and stuff. But you know, so far it's okay. I got water in the tank, uh, power. I got the lights on. The LED, these LED lights must use virtually nothing because my my lead acid battery is still got up let's see we're at <clears throat> we're at 12.5 on it's 90 it's still at around 90 percent approximately i guess it's going to go from that to zero is what's going to happen but anyway uh what else thumbs up carpe diem adios bye 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 anything you want but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of my videos some of you have been doing that and i appreciate it thank you very much <clears throat> For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm an Amazon affiliate, and I leave a link to Amazon products in the description of my videos, and if you click on the link and go to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission, and it doesn't cost you a dime, so if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, well, you know what I mean. So anyway, what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight. It will help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. What else? <clears throat> take deep breaths breathe in deep hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly why because that lo relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and that's very 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 good for you then stretch 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 you know walk swing those arms you know particularly if you're older do this because your hand, fingers get to where they don't work right <clears throat> as you get older and what else uh stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients okay don't let negative nancy or negative ned get inside your head and don't let doubting thomas get in there too mr negative doubting thomas uh what else <clears throat> anyway basically it all means try to keep your health try to keep a positive attitude about life you know i'm going through a total change here guys you know they're Everything's changed. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, when I turn the water on now, I can't run it like I did before. You know, I just turn it on, and let it run. You know, now using the 12 volt thump, 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 thump. A thump is a F U M P. A pump is P U M P. <clears throat> the 12 volt pump. You know, when you're running that, it makes a little noise. And then also, you're using water out of the fresh water tank. So you know, you're aware of all. It. So it's it's all a transition, and using the restrooms a little bit different, <clears throat> or a lot different. And, uh, but anyway, it's all going okay. I'm getting used to it, and I, you know, might as well do it now because around the 19th or so, we'll be moving somewhere, I think. Yeah, well, we're going camping Monday. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to go over to a, a campsite. I'll do a video there and show you what it's like. But anyway, guys, enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Take care. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.